Hi, I'm Jane, and this is my story of good. I dedicate this story to my brother. You get choked up, wait, stop. Sorry, now you're gonna make me cry. Because he just retired, and I know he saved some people's lives, so it means a lot to me. I myself went through two different citizens police academies with two different police departments just to learn more about the job. I don't know if it's just in the genes or in the family blood, but um, I think that kind of kicked in that day. One day when I was working in claims and needed to call the insured um, to get some details about what happened in the accident, she answered the phone. I could sense that she seemed to be having trouble breathing and she just didn't sound quite right. So I asked her, are you okay? And she said, yes. And so I continued, but she just still didn't seem to be breathing right. So I asked her again, do you need me to call somebody for you? And she said, no. And so I made the decision. I said, you know what, hang on the line. I'm gonna go ahead and get somebody to, co to come help you. And so I um, looked up the local police knowing where she was and called the police station there, let them know what was going on. And then when I switched back over um, to get back on the other line, she had hung up. So I was panicked thinking, you know, I've lost her. So I called the number again. Luckily, she answered the phone. And so I let her know that I had called help and, and help was on the way. The police called back. It got bounced to um, my coworker sitting next to me. So she got the call and she told me that they were on the line and that they were at the home but nobody was answering the door. I could hear some dogs barking in the background when I was on the phone with her. So I told my coworkers, tell them they're at the right place. The dogs are barking. I can hear them barking. Tell them not to leave, that she's in there. And it wasn't until later I found out that she was unresponsive by the time they reached her. I think for the, the two or three days that I waited before I contacted them again, it was all I could think about, but I found out that she was okay, so it was a huge relief. They did thank me, of course. It was a good conversation, and, and from there, we just pretty much handled the claim. I'm very grateful at having that opportunity to, to make a difference, to truly make a difference, not just in how we're repairing their car, or helping them get back on their feet, or get into a rental, but to actually possibly have saved somebody's life. This career is, is definitely the most rewarding place to be. You just never know when you'll be in the right place at the right time and change somebody's life for the good.